So I ordered a puzzle from uh, an online puzzle store in Canada and it has arrived. I've peeled off my address label so I don't dox myself, uh, but I have no idea what puzzle it was. I really don't remember what I ordered. So this is one of those exciting moments where you get to open a present for yourself. So let's see what we got. A bunch of peanuts and looks like a wooden lock shaped puzzle. Let's have a look. All right, there we go. It's a Siebenstein Spieler puzzle called Gravity Lock. Yeah, I, I do remember that name now that I'm seeing it. All right, so let's see what this is like. I have no idea. I don't remember anything about it. Uh, it looks interesting. We can see we've got this um, ball bearing. I don't know if you can see that just in there. And then there's these pins, which I'm guessing some of them slide across. Maybe the ball has to drop or something like that. Okay, so let's start the timer and see how long this takes. Okay, well, I must say step one was really quite easy. <laughs> I got the uh, cellophane wrapper off. All right, let's have a look. So this moves across a little way. So we can see that each of these is blocked currently by a little bit of wood, which looks like, does it rotate sort of? Yeah, okay, so we can rotate these wheels, sort of like it's slightly disconnected. So there's some sort of gearing or a sort of slightly poor connection or something, but we can just about line these guys up so that they're not blocking these channels and then these pins can move across. Um, what happened to that ball bearing? I thought I saw a ball bearing. Maybe I dreamed it. Pretty sure it was there. <laughs> oh, there it is, I see. Um, oh, I see, so there's one in there and there's one in there. And presumably there'll be one in here too. So you kind of feel like you want something to shift so that you get a good grip on these gears, which is what they seem to be. Gravity lock, yeah, I can see, kind of see why it's called a gravity lock. Because gravity definitely plays some kind of part, and that's really interesting because when I tipped it this way, these wheels both seem to turn what seemed to me to be in an upward direction, but of course that side went down, so that makes sense. Oh, yeah, there's a sort of interesting effect. Okay, so those ball bearings are now all lined up with these holes. I can see what's happening a bit, which is the ball is heavy. And so that makes it kind of difficult for the wheel to be rotated. This connection is obviously sort of somewhat imperfect. And when it's fighting against the ball's weight, that makes it even harder. So I can turn this fairly reliably without the ball moving much at all. It sort of shifts a little bit, but not much. And that's just because of the weight of the ball, I think. So, I mean, I've got all the balls here. But what do I want to do next? And what's the point of these three? These don't seem to have anything terribly interesting to say. Do the ball bearings drop out of the puzzle, maybe? So I feel like I want them to fall through these slots, but perhaps they won't. Maybe for some reason I'm going to get the balls over to here? Why, why would that make a difference? I don't know. And if I shake it like this, eventually they're going to be there, <laughs> presumably. Uh, okay, I don't know where the balls are now. Ah, well the point, the point about, oh that moves a little further, does it? But the point about this position is that um, while these pins are down here, these uh, gears can't move, can't rotate, right? So if I sort of hold them in place, and then drop the balls down. Does that do something interesting? Boink. 
point. Hmm. So the only purpose I can think of for these is to sort of lock these gears in place. But why? What's the goal here? Okay, so actually turning these is not at all how you make the gears turn. The way you turn, turn the gears is just through the gravity, which, you know, makes sense. Oh, so maybe... Ah. I mean, it could just be a combination, right? So we could just have to set each of these into a different position. You know, one of them with the ball down, one left, one up or something. That's like a, you know, a combination. I wonder how many interesting positions there are. So there's one. There's two. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? I seem to have accidentally solved it. <laughs> what is going on here then? Alright, I can see... Oh, is it, is it actually going to come even further? This is as far as it comes. You can sort of see that it's pushing against these um, wheels in different positions. So there must be like a sort of uh, bit flat bit or something that the, the um, shackle can move past in different positions on each of those. Oh, there we go, and it comes out completely. Okay, so it took only five minutes to sort of accidentally solve it. I think there's two possibilities. It's either that. Um, these wheels have to be in a certain position relative to each other. Or, I feel like, more likely, you sort of get the shackle past this one by having it in a position, and then you get it past this one by having it in a position, and then you get it past this one by having it in a position. So, in other words, you don't have to have all three in the, in the correct position at the same time, um, which obviously makes it quite a bit easier. And I guess the point of these is just to be annoying. <laughs> they just kind of get in the way, I think. Um, Okay, so let's see if I can get it back to being locked again. So, okay, this is currently blocked by that first wheel. Okay, if I just push it against it, it kind of eventually <laughs> gets past at least the first couple, so then I'm going to get it past the third one. Uh, wait. It's definitely got past this one. I think it's got past that one. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. This one is under tension, I can feel it on the wheel, this is really stiff now, whereas these ones are loose, so I think I'm just pushing against that one now. So I think I have got past these two, and now I just need to get it past the last one. Oh, there, okay, I think that's it now. There we go. Now I think it's in its starting state, so if I can get the wheels into the wrong positions, then hopefully, yeah, it won't open anymore. That's what it was like at the beginning. Okay, 10 minutes to get it open and then closed again. I'm still not sure I understand the puzzle, but I have a theory. So my theory is that if I just keep rotating it, I'll get it past this one, and then I'll get it past this one, and then I'll get it past this one. So, like, as long as I hold on to these bolts, assuming I'm understanding this correctly, it will just eventually um, move. Thanks to gravity. Maybe not. So if it isn't this way, where it's the sort of sequential uh, thing, then it could be that you do have to get them all into the correct positions at the same time. Which I guess would make sense, perhaps. Depends which bits get trapped, doesn't it?
I'm making this very uh, wild assumption <laughs> that these just have to stay at this end and not get in the way, but maybe they actually are meant to do something. Okay, is that now moving? I think that's now moving past something. So have I got it past this one, maybe? I'm just going to pull on it now. Yeah, now I'm tensing this one again. Maybe I've got it past there now. It's so funny, I obviously just got very lucky the first time, <laughs> getting it open in, whatever, five minutes. see everything right everything that matters we've seen the shape of the shackle and we can see the shape of these wheels just by watching them rotate um, and like this middle one here I can see where the flat bit is it's right there see that's the bit I think we have to have up here for it to move around so that means for that one we very much want this to, to be in this position so where we want it I think um, for this one, oh, it's the exact opposite, right, so we want it to be in this position, yeah, down here, I think. Okay, so if we lock that ball into something like that position, can't turn, and then we get this one into the next position. Now we just need to know where's the flat bit on this one, is it back to the same as the first one again? Bit. Looks like that's kind of getting close, maybe. Mm. See, the effect of me wiggling it around like this is. Um, my hope was that it would just sort of wiggle them into the right position, but what it actually did is wiggle them into the wrong positions. I very much suspect. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. So, I think at least I understand it. It's a relatively straightforward puzzle. You've basically got these wheels with flat bits on, and then you've got a ball bearing, which... Um, makes the wheels turn in a particular direction with gravity and if you can figure out where the flat bits are and put those up here then this uh, this will come out so let me just get the last one out there we go um so yeah that's gravity lock from siebenstein spieler um i don't know I, i'm not sure how long to say it took me but it was about 17 minutes to figure it out i guess I'm wondering if this is the intended solution or if there's some other piece of logic you're meant to use, but it feels like that's pretty fair. I mean, you're using, they've, they've given you the visibility here of the shape of these wheels. So you can see where the flat section is. You can figure out how to get the flat section over here and use these pins to kind of hold them in place so they don't rotate when you, um, you, know, you can have them all at different orientations. And then out it comes. So yeah, I think that's a nice, fun little puzzle. Um, I wouldn't say it's a very difficult one, but that's not always a bad thing. I think it's, as is always the case, honestly, with these guys' um, puzzles, it's really nicely made. It feels like nice pieces of wood put together well. Um, and uh, I think that, you know, makes a big difference. I can imagine this being the kind of thing you put on your coffee table and invite your friends to have a go at um, when they come around for a, a drink or something. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, if you're interested in this type of puzzle, the Siebenstein Spieler wooden puzzles, then check out these videos here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!